Okay, I have a third generation quick set smart key. Currently, it is keyed to just this uh, zero bit key. Um, let me see, just zero bitted, so you can obviously pull the key out at any time. So, what we'll do is turn it 90 degrees to the right, put in the tool, pull out that key, stick in this key that came with the um, came with the uh, quick set, and turn it back. And now it's keyed up for this, this key, and put the original zero bit back in. And it doesn't work. But this one does. So it's, it's nice and quick to, to rekey. It's kind of a cool little thing they got going on in there. But it's um, fairly easy to bypass. Uh, bobby pin has been uh, ground down a little bit to make it a bit uh, thinner and then made really smooth. Um, and then you got to fit it in the side here. And this is the tricky part. And then while you're putting tension with this by pushing on a sidebar there, you can work the pins. Uh, and I can't see them because the camera. So I can't see if I got it or not. Assuming I don't. Okay, I can feel it now. All right, so I got the first pin set. Work my way back with it. Okay, and then I got this si um, thing all the way in, so I'm putting pressure on the whole sidebar. So that means I probably have all of them lifted to the right line. And when you lift them up, it, all the gaps on the side line up so that that sidebar can drop in. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll put uh, tension on, uh, or I'll rotate, but this, uh, this side thing is, the side shim is holding it in place. So I gotta, while I'm putting tension, I gotta remove this from the lock to allow it to turn. And it's open, just that easy. Um, the trick is getting this in there, and we'll see what that does. So uh, right now it's open. And take that out. And um, removing it from here is really easy. You can actually do it with your finger. There's one clip like this you take off, and then it comes out of the, the body. And so here's your core. Um, but then to take this apart, again, pretty easy. I use a pick, lift up on that C-clip there, and get it all the way off, like that. Little ring, take that off. All right, so now you can pull the inside out if it's unlocked. Um, <clears throat> so right here, we can see that the sidebar is not in there. Um, and when I turn it, it's going to drop back into place. So there's a bunch of junk, and then we'll get to the point, there's the sidebar, it just dropped in. So now, the thing is locked. So when you put the key in, that sidebar is going to drop out of the way. Right when you get to the end, boom, it drops down, and you can open. Um, so what we're doing when we stick in the side shim, is we're fishing it around the edge here, um, like this. And it's got this bend to it on the, on the, sh on the tip of the shim so that when you get in here, you can get in there and um, you want it to go above this sidebar. If, it, if it's straight, you're just going to get caught on the edge of it. So you got to get above the sidebar and you're going to start putting pressure here. And I can't go any further because what's happening is that this first pin here is putting outward pressure on that sidebar. So I actually have to lift that first pin while I'm pushing in on this, on this, uh, on this shim, pushing in on the sidebar. And then it'll go, you saw, you might have saw it, it kind of pushed in further. And I went in, I had to lift each pin as I'm going in. Um, and then once I got them all, I was able to like go all the way in and put pressure on the whole sidebar, meaning it's pressed down. Then when I went to rotate it, the problem was that this little piece here on the outer ring that's trying to turn was getting stuck on this shim. So if I have this in here, like this, when I tried to turn the key, it gets stuck like that between this hole and this uh, little piece of warding there. So once it's turned though, you can see, I don't know if you can see, the sidebar is clear of the re uh, of the hole, whatever, recess, whatever we call it. Um, and I can pull this piece out 
and the sidebar is already clear uh, of the of the hole it sits in so you can turn the, the whole body and now that this is clear we can pull it out up here uh, what am I stuck on something's feeling good oh, okay so right now it's in in set key mode and if you have it turned the wrong way you get you can get that little piece stuck in there um, but when you go to set the key and you stick that tool in this hole it's going to push this whole uh, body here to the right like that okay and what that's going to do is if we take this out and one of the little things about it's going to push these all over to the side so they're no longer going to line up with the little fingers from these pins so each of these pins has a little finger on it okay and that's what the um the key is pushing into place so it pushes those fingers all up, right? But when you put the shim in or the uh, reset tool in, it pushes the whole things uh, pushes the whole thing over. So they're no longer lined up with these fingers. Instead, they're lined up here in these gaps. And that way, you can put a key in, lift these fingers up to any height that the key is, and then when you move it back, uh, those fingers will be configured to one of these little teeth, one of these little grooves in each of these. Um, in each of these wafers, right? Uh, when all these wafers are lined up with the sidebar, the sidebar can drop into this hole here. Um, each, if, if you had the wrong key, for example, and we moved one of these, um, well, I was showing you the wrong spot, but the sidebar on this side couldn't drop in to this little V shape on the back. Okay, so this little V shape is what the sidebar is dropping into, and it's got little false gates as well. Um, and if you put, when you put pressure on the, sh you can't just sh shove the side shim all the way in to put pressure on the sidebar because then it'll get locked into one of these little grooves and you won't be able to lift or lower any of those pins. So you kind of have to pr put pressure as you're pushing it back. Um, but when all those line up with that sidebar underneath, um, then the sidebar can move out of the way, right? And <clears throat> so this is the only way that's going to lock, unlock. And if you have the key lifting the one of these pins to the wrong point, then obviously it's going to have one of these out of alignment, and you're not going to be able to be able to open the lock. Um, yeah, I mean, I could take this all apart, but it doesn't really. I took one out. That's kind of all it's needed to show. Um, here's the sidebar. It has downward pressure um, from these little black things, and if one of these is out of position. Let's say this guy. He puts pressure, and you see the the sidebar is lifted. It goes up and down like that. So to put it back together, all you do is get all these lined up in here again. And you can do it with the key in, um, which I like. You can just I've only taken this part once before just to learn how it works. And that's it. Now it's it's keyed for this um, because of how you had it set up. You can put it back into here. I didn't I didn't show the and show the, the all those finger pins. They're just held in here with springs. I mean, there's nothing really interesting to take apart there. You want to make sure that this is all lined up. And you'll you won't be able to um, from from what I can see. I haven't tried it, but you won't be able to put this back in here uh, if you have the key in. That if the key is somehow if, if this is misaligned because the sidebar won't drop in, and that won't allow you to stick it in then. Um, so then all you do is you, you just put it back in here and you might go, oh, it can't go in. There's this, I don't know what this does, but there's this little black piece here that it, it has to be pushed down a little and then you can slide the whole thing in, get that sidebar in. You can take the key out, locked in, throw your little ring back on, push your C-clip back on, um, and oh, no springs went flying today, so that's, that's nice in there. Get that little back clip back on. I like how you can pretty much take it all apart with your fingers almost. And okay, so the key's not working. So a lot of times, um, if it's not lined up just right, uh, your key won't work. So maybe um, 
and they show this on the QuickSight website. Maybe it's that I had it tilted or not the right depth or something like that when I was putting it together. Now, normally, if you can't, they show you just keep wiggling the key like this and keep doing it until you can get it open. So you might be screwed. Of course, we're not because we can just go shove our tool in again and just pick it again, right? So get that in the right spot. Let's see if we're getting tension on this yet. No, tension. Get in the hole. Okay, I feel tension there. So got that first one. on this. If I don't get this in the next couple minutes, I'll do it again off camera. Okay, so I think that they feel a little bit squishier when they're set. They're really springy if they're not getting pressure from the sidebar piece, and they feel really solid and like don't move at all if they're in one of those false gate pieces. So, we're all set. All right, well, I won't waste everybody's time too much. Um, unless, I don't, I don't know, maybe, let's see, let's try one more time. Put that in there. And worst comes to worst, you can take that clip off, pull the core out, and then you can actually look at each pin that you're lifting, right, as you lift it. Um, so, it's a good. <laughs> First one. Sometimes it helps to push it from behind. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to do that in a lock that's in use. Okay, now I feel like I'm in there. But I'm not getting behind the, the bar. I'm putting all these new scratches in my brand new lock. Uh, yeah, I can't get it in there at all. Now it's going to be like, oh, I got it one time on camera, but now I can't ever do it again. Okay, now I got it in there. I think everything's set. It's hard to. We've gone pretty far, right? And we still don't have it. All right, I'll do it off camera. This video is gonna be forever, otherwise. All right, thanks. Bye. <clears throat> and of course, the second I turned the camera off, I got it. Of course. All right, so I can't get the key in. But I can go ahead and push down on this reset button. And then I can put the key in. 
turn it all the way. And now, I should be recovered. Okay, there we go. And we're back. Alright. <laughs> For real this time, thanks.